The only thing that we've got to take into consideration is that you're flying directly over Simferopol, which is where that Sam took down the Malaysian Airlines. Oh, did it? Yeah. When Mr. Putin oh. was like, pew pew. <laughs> well, not him. <laughs> not him. Not him specifically, but his army of minions. I made it turn that bit out. That was really insensitive. <laughs> Guaranteed to have a view of it. Just, that's what it was yeah. I was on that plane, thank you very much. <laughs> Golf 0070, heading 185, reduce speed 182 or not. 185 on the uh, heading 180 on the speed Golf 0070. Speed at 124, reduce speed 160 and up to 40 of me. Bonsoir, guys. Matt here. Hope you're all well. And welcome back to another P3D video. Uh, I just landed here. You probably see that in the other video. And I landed and I parked on uh, that gate right here. Charlie, I think it was 17. Wait, are we on Charlie 17? Charlie 15. I think I just parked on this gate. You know what? Just ignore me. We're on the right gate. But I had to reload the plane because... The panel state spiced me, and uh, on the ILS it bugged out, which will never happen again because now I'm using a different panel state. But what I did get to work was the double gates on SOAD, or the double jetways, which is very, very suave. Um, so, yeah, here we are, Speedbird 16, 14 hours, and thereabouts, back to Heathrow. We've already done this flight once on the channel before, I reckon. I think it was about three years ago, two, three years ago, something like that. One of the most viewed videos on the channel, which is nice. So let's hope this does as well. Lol, maybe not. Um, but at least this time we're in uh, a simulator that doesn't out of memory and is relatively stable. Fingers crossed. Uh, we are flying today with Matt, who's already taken off about an hour ago, so we probably won't see him at all. And then Dan is on our right-hand side in the 787. They're all copping out and flying that. And I'm flying the 777-300, which is exactly what the real one takes. They don't bother with 78s down in this part of the world. Uh, actually, that's a lie. They do take the 78s to Shanghai and places like that. Okay, so cockpit, flight deck, whatever you want to call it. Planning screen up. Let's see if this works. Please. There we go. Perfect. And we need to reset this because it's currently going the wrong way. How do I reset this? New. Yes. Okay. BA16. First, almost not my orange juice over. Nice. From Singapore to London. 02 left is wrong. We're taking off a 02 center. Uh, the weather is horrible, as you saw. Uh, it's going to take us 13 hours, 20 minutes, apparently. Random payload, 218 tons. I'm happy with that. STBB is correct. And we will find destination alternates, although I already know that I want to go to Gatwick. So instead, I'm just going to type Gatwick and then find, there you go, perfect. Find route. Let's see what it gives us. Uh, that is a rather large route. Yep. I'm not even going to bother to explain where it takes us. What am I actually going to do, though? I'm going to go to um, optimize route. I'm going to say find the minimum time. see where that takes us all right so it's, it alters the route a little bit it's actually safer i want to stay away from uh all of this here i'll go with that right compute flight there is a problem uh oh error in performance file climb weight altitude fuel okay so we need to replan this because otherwise we ain't going anywhere 
Need to hit randomize a few times. Now recompute it. And it's perfect. So we'll delete the bad one. We'll release the good one. Print the flight plan. As we did before. It's already booked on the project fly. And everything is ready to go from that respect. I haven't pre-filed on Vatsim, but I'll do that soon. Export the flight plan. Perfect. And then we'll send it off to uh, to that sim. Okay. Perfect. So, first things first. ADI I use and the emergency lights. And that is fine. Left pack, right pack. Onto auto. Turn the volume up a little bit. Uh, we can make sure the logo light's on. And we will come down here. And we will go to return payload. And zero fuel weight today. 200.9. If I could actually click, that would be good. Fuel, 110 tons to take us back. That will give us enough fuel for uh, 15 hours. Back to the doors page for the uh, the rest of the services. We'll squawk 2,000. Everything else looks good. Uh, she will go to Unicom because we're on Vatsim. Like so. Everything else is fine. Pressure set. Actually, speaking of pressure, we load the flight plan into uh, Active Sky. It's done. Let's clear all these errors. We'll put some lights on too. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so standby, altimeter can go to uh, HPA, and we can bring out the checklist. Some really odd lighting today. I don't know why that is. Let's check the seat belts on. <coughs> Damn, I'm dying today. Right. Okay. So FMC. Let's do this. Uh, pause in it. Reference airport WSSS Charlie 15 IRS positioning request the route 777 Heathrow request That'll take a bit of time to come back now we load it in. And then speedbird 16. 0 to center. Activate, copy the route. Depart, 0 to center. And it's out via the VMR. 5 alpha so that takes us left apparently yeah it's actually a really straightforward route uh, perfect uh, perfect in it so our initial flight level is 320 that's fine we'll accept that we'll just change the cruise CG to 17.5 17.5 there you go uh, and then some step climbs. So, 340 butt hop. Gotta find that. There it is. Then, 360 lemod. Then, it is 380 loxo. And then that's as high as we go. So, we can load the wind in with those climbs. Execute those. The transition altitude is 10,000 here. And in London, it's 6,000. Or flight level 6,0, whatever you want to call it. 
that's all in. Uh, that's fine. And then we can go back here, so 59 degrees, 15, 309. The surface wind, 060 at 4. Uh, but it's actually wet. And the temperature is 27. There's your speeds. 172 V2. That is very, very fast. All right. So, let's move over to the charts. Uh, we'll have a quick look at where we're going. So, we're currently parked uh, here, around this area. So, to get to 02 Centre, we have to go right on one of the North Crosses, then Echo Papa, and then all the way down to Echo 11. Runway heading is 023. The SID is the VMR, or whatever it's called, uh, departure. I'm trying to find it in a list of Vs is not easy. How can I find it? These are all RNAVs. That's strange. I can't see it anymore. I guess they only use Arnavs. It would be that there. It would be the... Uh, that one. The Mersing 5 Alpha. So I'm going to change it. The initial climb is 3,000 feet. All right, so let's change that. Mersing 5 Alpha, 3,000 feet. So in here, go here. I actually put the center of the runway in first, and we've got less to scroll through. Uh, Mersing 5 Alpha. Why does that not exist? Wait, maybe the identifier is different. Oh, I'm so... Yeah. Honestly, Victor Mike Romeo is mercing. So we had it right all along. Just ignore me. I swear to God, I'm so bad at this. Okay, we'll just leave that as is. And put this on the likes page. And uh, everything else is fine. All right, APU is on, is it? No, it's not. We'll throw it on. Put the fuel pumps on as well. And that, as far as setup, is everything good to go. We'll run through the checklist. Parking brake set, oxygen flight instruments. Before start checklist, not quite. Uh, flight directors on, 3,000 feet initially. I'll now have VNAV, done. Easy. Lol. Okay. So, we will start by closing the doors, all of them, and then arming them one by one. We will then go to SOD and we will say, Auto Undock Jetways, thank you. And we will go outside and we will see said Auto Undocking in progress. Whilst that is happening, the APU should be almost in a position to be used. Please. APU is now running. Wheel chocks removed. GSX, push back, nose right, no de-ice. We shall throw on the beacon light. We can flick the TCAS on. Before start checklist completed. Check the doors. 
Make sure they're all armed. Yes, they are. Engine page. Let's see how Dan's getting on. Hey, uh... Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Hi. Are you ready? Yes. Psalm A. <clears throat> that moment when GSX promises seamless integration with SOAD, then you have to use the SOAD menu. GSS likes to remove the jetways for me. Just push them away all the time. Yeah, same. It's really irritating. Right. Parking brake released. And start the clock. And you're like 10 stands to my right, so you can push at the same time. Roger. If you are ready to do such a procedure. I'll push after you, actually. You don't need to. No, but I wanna. I wanna get a view from behind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, to be fair, a, a triple seven three hundred from behind I'd do it for anybody. So, mm. <laughs> especially the low polygon AI model. All right. Let's start the engines. We'll start one at a time, I suppose. Starting numero two. Actually, no, because you can just go off to the right. I was right going to say, you? yeah, you're yeah. going to push onto the fork to the left, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's me that's uh, going to get the rear end of you. Oh, babe. <sighs> this is what I have to put up with. This is literally, <laughs> you know, every time you fly in Project Fly, just think about these people. <laughs> and these are the people behind it. <laughs> I don't know if that makes it a worse product or a better product to use. <laughs> Just wait for uh, any future Easter eggs. Yeah. When you click on, like, a 777, it's just going to make that noise. Does it update everybody's 777 picture to the APU? <laughs> yeah. And then a, a caption that says, oh, babe. <laughs> so are you anticipating to get out of here without falling out the skyship? I'm going to give it a good go, yeah. Because, you know, the trip... Well, actually, your aircraft should technically fly better than mine through bad weather because you've got a better wing. Yeah, you? but you say that, but Matthew ended up in yeah, the sea. Yeah, but you, Matthew's flying skill is a lot to be desired, so... Oi! <laughs> None of that! Thank you very much. <laughs> trigger. <laughs> it's not my fault. Speaking of trigger, I just started the engines with no hydraulics. <laughs> and my flying skills would be uh, Hey, to look, I'm trying to multitask here. I'm not feminine. Wait, I can't say that, can I? Damn. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, women always assume that they can multitask and men can't, so I'm just running that stereotype. Make it equal. Well, well, chop it off. Can't, so, you know. Well, yeah, you can do yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, inadvertent, non-PC. I like it. That's the way to do YouTube. Don't actually say bad things, but just it associate. It is, but it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is very hard. Just innuendos. Yeah. Innuendo bingo. Have you ever listened to that on, on uh, Radio 1? <laughs> oh, actually, uh... With um, think jump gr first thing Grimes or whatever he's called, the guy that did X Factor, that oh, thinks um, he's better than he is. Got the really Grimshaw. Book. That's it, not Grimes. Yeah. Nick Grimshaw. Oh, guys. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Grimmy at 5 a.m. Where no one's listening because we're all in bed like regular people. <laughs> <laughs> so, to be fair though I actually listened to a, a fair few of his shows on the way to McDonald's at 5am so <laughs> this has turned into less of a flight video and more of a podcast I'm just going to wait for GSX to push me into you now. yeah I'm waiting for my tug to drive over to your plane and just do something 
There you go, he's gone. Right, now we can fry the weather radar on. Because I want to see what spiciness is upon us. Alright, flat 15. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> you see the weather. I put a radar on you. Dude, <laughs> there is a dirty cell right on the departure path. Like, you miss it by, like, a minuscule amount. I'm going to, in Discord, in, in the flight sim section, also, if you're not on my Discord, everyone, why not? Link in the description. YOLO. <laughs> Here, I'm just going to post a screenshot of it. And then just enjoy where the departure line is versus where that cell is. <sighs> See, I think that was right over the departure yeah, line when I be. left the airport. It will be, because when I was landing before, that's what I saw. <laughs> so, yeah, that was why I nose dive into the ocean. Yeah, it's Matthew's uh, second attempt at this flight. The first one, he went swimming back to the terminal. Like Not even back to the terminal, back to Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you actually did, didn't you? Dude, <laughs> yeah. my up trim for this takeoff is 7.75. I might as well just tip the, the stabilizer vertically. <laughs> there we go. Right, Apu off. And the after... Uh, what? <laughs> Apparently, as I was, <laughs> was pushed back, I've had the tail strike. I love that. All the cash is gone to the <laughs> Dude, I just went to run the after start checklist and it's just got a non normal tail strike. Yeah, dude, what the hell? Oh, Look at this. Turn in the weather on there. Discord again. How is GSX has given me a tail strike? <laughs> I'm gonna have to clear that failure. Let's have a look. Yeah, active one. Clear all. How is that even possible? I'll do one. Right. Ah, oh, this is so stupid. Oh, I'm resetting on normal. Okay, we're good. Someone said in Discord, Randazode once more. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, it's Umbertoed once more. Umbertoed. It was GSX that caused it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no anti ice. Recall for the third time is fine. Auto brake, flight controls, ground equipment's clear, and we are good to taxi. Except I just noticed the other side was on. Inches of freedom, and I don't want that. Okay, I'm ready the taxi. Can I get past Same. you there? I think so. Yeah, it'd be fun. I'm going to start moving anyway. Alright, are you just going to go forward and right? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. No, maybe I'm not moving because the tug hasn't disconnected. It's just sat there staring at my wheels. Dude, you should um, just run it over. I've done that plenty of times. I would, but it's one of them Challenger 2 tank ones. Oh, right, yeah. You'll end up ramping it. Mm. And then I'll get a tail strike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I don't think I can actually hit past you. Uh, uh, oof, just. So, they're still operating this airport. This airport is still open right now, IRL. So, either people from Singapore just don't value their life, or Active Sky is lying. <laughs> Because, like, what pilot wants to take off in this weather?
Tell you what, though, when I landed into here from Singapore, uh, Sydney even, just back then, like an hour ago, you know, um, when you decelerate and you get the deceleration perfect so that, like, 40 knots, you come off the taxiway. Mm. It was one of those. Like, there was no actual manual braking needed. I just slowed down perfectly for the, the uh, exit point. So I taxied in with a lob on. Well, hey. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> so we should push all limits with this one. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what I want to do. I want to see how long it takes. At what point in the video does it get demonetized? And then we know where the limit is. <laughs> That's not Echo Papa. <laughs> or did you go on the first one? Yep. Yeah. Well, I tried. I, I rectified it. So everyone in the plane that was sat on the right is now sat on the left. Because <laughs> I went right and then swung it left as I'm going the same speed. This is a rather long taxi. Yeah, it is. Really? Time lapse! Okay, we have reached our final destination. <laughs> Which is basically what's going to be, because we're going to rotate and probably yeah. die. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Oh. I'm going to need it. <laughs> I hope you okay. make it out alive. So, before takeoff checklist is completed, the water landing checklist is ready. <laughs> Coast Guard on stop <laughs> Yeah. Strobe lights on. There is a guy on Project Fly, an Emirates guy, that has basically paused on his way into Singapore because the weather's so bad. He doesn't want to try the approach. <laughs> Imagine if you could just do that in real life. Just be like, nah, I'm not doing that. I'll just sit here. It will work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, landing lights on. sat here staring at the radar waiting to see what happens okay <laughs> dude the weather cells right in front of the plane <laughs> all right starting the clock power's coming in wish me luck good luck don't sing. Good luck, but I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Power's in. See the engine spool up with all that condensation. Ha ha ha. It looks so nice. You can just see it sort of like wisping around the inside of the cowling. Alright, power set 91.4%. Beautiful. Let's have a look from the outside. Look at it tanking. What a plane. Five minutes. V1. V1. <laughs> and there's rotate. Perfect. Positive right. Gear up. There goes the gear. Look at that. L nav. V nav. All right. Please, don't spice me. I'm begging you. 
I just want a nice departure. Throw the other pilot in, see what happens. It's already bumpy. You can already see the wings flex. <laughs> okay, acceleration. It's struggling. It's just, it's just so heavy. Right, I'm gonna go all the way up to flight. What was the initial climb? I can't remember. Cruise was flight level three two zero. So I'll just get rid of all the individual waypoints. Or get rid of all the individual altitude restrictions, even. Oh my. Oh my. I'm keeping the flaps out. I don't trust this. <laughs> the speed is fluctuating so much. I just want it to get around that left hand corner. Once it does that, I'll be away from that horrible cell and it should be okay. But yeah, we're going to go through it. Oh my, dude, we're going through it. Turn left! Like now? Oh, this is not good. It's actually like taller than I can see. <laughs> We're in it. We're in it. We're in it. Oh dear. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> oh my. Oh dear. Please just turn left. Just turn left. Just turn the goddamn plane left. Get out. It's bouncing around, it's all over the place. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Dude, we're dead, we're dead. I don't know what to do. It's, it's, I think we're crashing. <laughs> Are you rolling, Chip? Yeah, I'm just. Oh my just god. Passing. I'm just keeping the flaps out and just riding the storm. Oh, stick shaker! No! <laughs> Seriously. Please, please. Come on, plane. Come on, you can do it. Just get through it. Oh! See, if I'd have brought the flaps in by now, we would have been dead. The flaps are what's keeping us alive. Dude, how are they operating through this in real life? There's no way. Wow. I think now. No, I can take that back. Like, we're, hot, we're doing 160 knots at 6,000 feet. Like I want it to accelerate, but it just won't, because every time it tries, it hits a cell, and then the cell just nails it. Oh my, please. Oh! Okay, we're dead. It won't accelerate, and I don't know why. I have an idea. Right, VS. I'll see like 500 feet a minute. 250 knots. Let's just see if I can like penetrate it. <laughs> oh, come on, plane. Oh. Come on, don't do this to me. Come on. It's the cl every time you go through a cloud, it's just like death. And there's nothing you can do about it. I just want to get through it. 
Is there a cloud over there? That's heading right towards it, nine miles. Right. Just turn right here, get out of the way of it. It was fun riding the clouds, but I'm done now. I need to actually climb, otherwise I'm not going to have enough fuel to get to Heathrow. <laughs> I'm going to go flat five. This is very brave. Hopefully VNAV now will take care of this. Get out of the way of the bad weather. It's absolutely destroyed us. It's just bouncing us all over the place. How's it your own ship? I somehow managed to climb straight through it. Did you actually? No issue. Yep. Yeah. Just past 10,000 now. Cheater, I bet you turned off at this guy. No, it's on, mate. <laughs> but for me, weirdly, uh, saying that, the cell is showing over to my left. Hmm. It's smoothed out for me now, he says. Yeah, it, it was showing where, like, through our departure. And it's just randomly shifted to the left. Right, and finally flaps up. Eight minutes after departure. <laughs> I'm just flying into an area of clear weather just so I can climb above everything. Because otherwise yeah. I am never getting to cruise. Right, I there's... think I'm going to overtake it. Yeah, I can see it to the Nice. Can I outclimb that cell? Not yet, no. And go past it to the left, though, I think. Just a little bit to the left. Actually, I can go direct. Victor Mike Romeo now. Set standard. Lights coming off. That was intense. That was genuinely intense. Like, I just don't. I, I would love to read or like ask a pilot how you. If you. Act, I mean, obviously, they're not going to fly into that on purpose. But if they did get caught in it, how they deal with it? Uh. Because my pants, if that was real life, would be brown. <laughs> like, there's no two ways about it. Yeah. <laughs> Just losing like 60 knots on the nose, then the stick shaker going off in the in the matter of like two seconds is not fun. Especially if it's on like straight on a departure or an arrival. Yeah, well, you don't have as much energy. Like, if you get it in the in the cruise, it's not too bad. But when you're trying to fight to gain energy from climbing and accelerating, that's not fun. Put a bit of floodlight on. So see what I'm doing. There you go. Now we're at 300 knots. There's a big dirty cell off to the left of me, but I'm going to fly past it. Look at that. Right, what's your ETA for Heathrow? Mine's 7.10am. Uh, 6.26. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Someone's how that works, got to but... move on. <laughs> Wait, what route are you taking? You're not taking the same as me. Uh, no, nah, it's... Um, it's uh... Specifically designed sim brief route. Oh, right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So you'll probably end up getting there in like three days. Yeah. Well, my, what's your? Does it give you an OFP? 
Uh, yeah. Look on the ATC bit of the OFP, and at the end of the legs, you'll see something that says E uh, E E T or yeah, E forward that. slash. No, no, I'm lying. It'll say, say your destination, so it'll say E G L L, and then a number. But you want to hear too, yeah. Yeah. So mine's what? Mine's 13 hours and five minutes with the routing I'm taking. Mine is. 13 hours and 20. So, yeah, your quality wings can't calculate time properly. Nope. And it probably won't even last a flight either, to be honest. <laughs> right, here, I'm going to post a picture in Discord of what just happened to me. Uh... That is what I flew through on the departure. And that's what caused the, the memes. Yeah, see, I didn't have that. That cell that's directly ahead of you. Yeah. That was to the left of... Uh, what was the Sid again? Okay, whatever it was. Gonna be back, yeah. Um, that was to the left of that. I think that's the one oh, that you coma. said. That, yeah, that's the one, yeah. But I think the, um, the cell that you said about five minutes ago that was over to your left, that was the only one that I seen. Are you running Active Sky? Yeah. yeah. What? Which version? It's on live. Uh, I am. Oh well, I've got ASCI and then I've got uh, V4. Set version six double seven three. Says at the top. Uh, underneath six the logo. double seven three. Yeah. yeah. Well then. <laughs> so again, I don't know what. But what's saying that, you did depart about five minutes after me, so it might have had time to like move because it was moving from right to left, not left to right. Yeah, but I mean, there's moving and then there's completely disappearing. <laughs> yes, yeah, it was. It was nowhere to be seen. Yeah. I don't know. Well, whatever, we're through it. Oh. We're on the way to cruise. It's smooth sailing now. There's not a single piece of weather now all the way. The only thing that we've got to take into consideration is that you're flying directly over Simferopol. Which is where that Sam took down the Malaysian Airlines. Oh, did it? Yeah. When Mr. Putin oh. was like, pew pew. Oh, well, not him. <laughs> <laughs> not him. Not him specifically, but his army of minions. <laughs> I'm editing that bit out. That was really insensitive. <laughs> Guaranteed to have a view of it. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I was on that plane, thank you very much. 